Project Cold Case is a nonprofit organization that's based here in Jacksonville, Florida, that serves families of unsolved homicides uh, across the country. My dad was murdered uh, in 2009 here in Jacksonville, Florida, and his case quickly went cold and then uh, has unfortunately remained cold over the last 12 years. My dad's murdered. Uh, a few months later, I lose my job. I'm in a real bad place. I get a call from a support group for uh, families of, of homicide victims. And I go to that support group and I'm there with three other men and they had all lost children to homicide and I had lost my dad. So being in that room, being surrounded by them offered me perspective because I was supposed to bury my dad, just not the way I did, but they were never supposed to bury their children. And here were three men that were still able to work. They were contributing members of society, um, taking care of their families. And it was inspiring to me. And I know that that was the moment in time where I was like, I want to be more like that. Like, I don't want to be sad and depressed um, and, and upset and angry and mad. Uh, I want to do something good and I want to help other people. And so that's one of the things, you know, one of the foundations of Project Cold Case is support meetings. Uh, where we allow families to come in and be surrounded by other families that have experienced something similar so they don't feel alone and they know that their loved one still matters. I have that experience of being uh, at a table with law enforcement when they say we've run out of leads, there's nothing left for us to investigate and your, your dad's case is now cold. Uh, so I think that brings something to the table when I'm working with families and when our organization is working with families because they know uh, not only do we have experience in it, we've lived it, um, but we've also been able to leverage um, relationships on the law enforcement side that allows us to have a seat at that table as well. So we can help educate our families on the process of investigations and prosecutions, while also educating law enforcement on the traumatic impact of losing a loved one to violence and then having no answers and constantly wondering what happened, who did it, and why.